The man, T.B. Joshua. Prophet T.B. Joshua is the founder and general overseer of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, an international Christian ministry established 27 years ago. He is also the principal coordinator of Emmanuel TV, a universally renowned media house dedicated to changing lives, reconciling families, and transforming nations through the Spirit of God. Amen. I don't know where to start. <laughs> My comment to your belief, in fact, uh, is just to lay the foundation. Today, we start the synagogue here. Amen. The ministry began in a humble way, from Prophet T.B. Joshua starting with just eight members. Today, the church has grown beyond the confines of any country or continent, transcending language and cultural barriers with a message of hope and healing, freedom and deliverance displayed through the mighty miracles at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV has become the most watched Christian channel in the whole continent of Africa and has taken YouTube by storm with hundreds of millions of views and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Every day, hundreds of sick and afflicted people cried out for the attention of our Lord Jesus. As it was, so it is today. Jesus Christ healed and still heals all manner of sicknesses and diseases. This festering hand is condemned to amputation. Prophet T.B. Joshua prays in the power of the Holy Spirit and she is healed in Jesus' name. This is her testimony for the glory of God. I am healed. There's nothing I cannot use this hand to do. I wash clothes, I cook, I do everything with this hand. Another shocking case is Mr. Henry Ferreira from South Africa, who came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with gaping wounds caused by cancer that had spread to both legs. The incurable leg cancer that had defied the best medical treatment succumbed to the power in the name of Jesus Christ. As Prophet T.B. Joshua offers prayers of faith, watch as healing takes place. This is a leg. You can see I've got no pain anymore. My leg is completely healed. Thank God for that. Young Nosa came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with eye cancer. His eye, which bore the brunt of his affliction, soon became the trophy of Christ's victory in his life after prayer from Prophet T.B. Joshua in the name of Jesus Christ. Sent to the nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua takes the gospel of Jesus Christ to the four corners of the earth. The country of Botswana, located in the southern African region, was the first nation where Prophet T.B. Joshua held a crusade. People jumped and cheered with excitement and hearts full of faith as Prophet T.B. Joshua arrived for the historical visit. I'm here to do what I'm born for, and I'm living for, and I'm going to die for. On the crusade ground, crutches and wheelchairs were raised high as people regained their ability to walk. The stands were filled to capacity. If millions of this generation are to believe, they must see the evidence that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Never a healer like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the permanent solution who changes not. Who else can justly heal? It's none other than Jesus Christ. What a son we have to worship. What a God we have to praise. Glory be to God. Christ's crusade with Prophet T.B. Joshua. This is the evidence that there is healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thousands witness the power in the name of Jesus. Indeed, when the power of God is present, freedom, deliverance is just like breathing. The Royal Opera House in Sydney, Australia, 
marks another crusade destination where Prophet T.B. Joshua was sent, bringing practical Christianity to the four corners of the earth. At the Australia for Christ crusade with Prophet T.B. Joshua, God used his servant and those who were sick and bound were healed and set free. Chains holding people in bondage were broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I had a demon which has been true for 15 years. God has delivered me from it. Thank you, Jesus. Hundreds of thousands also gathered at the Singapore Crusade with TB Joshua, where God demonstrated his mighty power to heal, deliver, and set the captives free. Prophet TB Joshua prays for this woman, proving that the right hand of God is power indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Walking appreciatively after her healing, she not only thanks Jesus, but his servant, who was used to perform the miracle in his name. God really wants to heal, but unless you believe, you will not experience it. It is tremendous, and this is the first time I've seen where uh, deliverance is being done in a massive scale. I think he is uh, uh, very anointed to uh, demonstrate the power from God so that the people will understand Jesus. I'm from Indonesia. Um, I see a lot of miracles happens here. It's really amazing. To me, I was thinking all these are just magic. I have to be very open. And today I really got the privilege and God bless. And I accept Jesus as the savior of my life. Please clap for Jesus Christ. It is time for healing. TB Joshua delivers God's message of hope, faith and love to an arena of people hungry for the power of God in the nation of Indonesia. Latin America and around the world streamed in for just a touch from heaven through his anointed servant, Prophet TB Joshua. The stadium is filled to capacity as they await a touch that will change the course of the history of their lives forever. There is never a sickness Jesus cannot heal, never a disease Jesus cannot cure, never a problem Jesus cannot solve. Me siento libre. Si me puedo mover, yo tenía un corset. Cuando llegué del estadio, estaban todos durmiendo. Llegué a las 12 de la noche. Pero vea, llena de Cristo y de la unción. 
para mí era una fiesta lo que yo había ido me llevaba en mi corsé en la mano lo tiré al piso gracias por acordarse de Colombia gracias, mi nombre es Edgar Castaño eh, yo soy pastor de la Iglesia Bautista Central en Bogotá y soy el presidente de SECOL, que es la Confederación Evangélica de Colombia, que integra la mayoría de las iglesias del país. He said that his name is Edgar Castaño and that he is from Bogotá and he is the president of SECOL, which is the majority of all the Colombian churches, a network of all the churches in Colombia. Es una cuestión muy impresionante por el número de personas que acompañaron este evento y especialmente el tema de la liberación y de los milagros. Eh, yo creo seriamente que la relación entre la palabra y los milagros es importante, entre la teología y los milagros, y creo que la palabra tiene poder para hacer eso. Así que, en mi opinión, es una bendición haber podido estar hoy acá. He said it was very powerful to see the, the, the miracles and the word of God that the two should work together. Yibi Joshua traveled to Mexico, home of the Aztec Stadium, where thousands rushed to experience God's power and celebrate the Prince of Peace with songs of praise from renowned musicians like Alvin Slaughter, C.C. Winans, and Vashon Mitchell. The people praised God as they saw Prophet T.B. Joshua being used as an instrument in his hands to make the lame walk, deaf to hear, and the blind to see. No puedes no puedo ver. Bien, no veo de lejos, no I cannot see for 16 years. After stating her case of being blind for 16 years, Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for her, and she falls under the mighty anointing of God, causing blindness to bow and flee at the mention of the name Jesus Christ. Watch as Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for this young boy in the power of the Holy Ghost. Este niño que no podía caminar ha sido libre, ha sido sano. Gloria a Jesucristo. Un grito de júbilo. A clear proof that he no longer needs the crutches and can now walk freely after Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for him. Glory be to God. Ayúdame, hombre de Dios. No, no puedo mover mi cuello. Help me, man of God, I cannot move my neck. I have a stiff neck. As directed by the Holy Spirit, Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for this woman wearing a neck collar due to a stiff neck at the prayer line of the Mexico Crusade. Watch a spiritual operation as it takes place. Jesus has done it again. Who could question so much evidence that Jesus lives? He never said goodbye. Thank you, Jesus, I am free. Thank you, Jesus, I am free. After her healing, turning her neck from side to side, up and down, fully restored, no one would guess that she was the same young woman who was once wincing in pain and subject to a neck collar only hours before. Glory be to God. The Sky Dome in Seoul, South Korea was the venue of the 2016 South Korea Crusade with Prophet T.P. Joshua, his third appearance in the country. Hearts and souls were lifted as those in attendance praised the name of the Most High God. As the book of Psalm 22 verse 3 says, he inhabits the praises of his people. 
They render songs of worship while waiting expectantly for his much loved servant. Thank you. Hamsamida. I want to be healed in Jesus' name. I want to be healed. As this woman prays in faith for her healing to come, Prophet TB Joshua is used as a point of contact for the lightning power of God to become apparent on the scene. Surely, within moments of contact, healing takes place instantaneously. <laughs> I want to tell you guys that you guys shouldn't have doubt. As we count our many blessings, doubt will flee. This is just one of many cases showing just how great our God is. Here is another, a young man whose mobility and movement is hindered by his affliction. I wasn't able to do push-ups because of my pains inside my wrist and shoulder. In the name of Jesus Christ, he is free. No longer bound by the pain in his wrist and shoulders, he is not only able to do push-ups, but exercise every part of his body. The Synagogue Church of All Nations started from the given ministry. Right from the beginning of this ministry, it had been the church, the given ministry. What comes from the church goes to the ministry of giving to raise the standard of living. Help the needy, help the widow, help the orphan. Everything is gone. Our houses, our, everything. There's nothing to eat, there's nothing to drink. Do you have uh, water or uh, food there? TB Joshua, through his ministry and Emmanuel TV, has touched so many lives across the world through humanitarian and philanthropic deeds, including providing academic scholarships for many beneficiaries such as children and young adults. 
These scholarships have enabled them to reach the heights of their academic dreams that would have otherwise crashed on the rocks of poverty. Beneficiaries such as Ms. Olayinka Oduwale sponsored to University College of London and later Oxford University, where she is undergoing her PhD course. To Imano TV Partners, thank you for everything you've done. This wouldn't have been possible without you. And most importantly, thank you, Prophet Tibi Joshua. Thank you. Ms. Mary Jean Inleya sponsored the Harvard University for her master's degree program and later internship at the ICC International Criminal Court in The Hague. My time here at Harvard has been amazing. I have been taught by renowned professors. I have dedicated my master's thesis to, um, to Prophet TV Joshua and it's by the grace of God that my master's thesis was um, graded with honors by my professor who was incredibly impressed with the work that I had done through the thesis. Many people will see TV Joshua's ministry, the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Nigeria as a place of refuge. This stranded lady from Mongolia came with her two children in dire need of passports and airfare to return to their country. This is my passport. Man of God helped me to get my passport. Thank you, God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Nigeria. TV Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners provided them with their complete travel expenses and worked with the Mongolian embassy in Egypt to acquire the passports of her two children. Tears of desperation fall down the cheeks of this woman from Indonesia. She and her family also found help at the Synagogue Church of All Nations after they found themselves in extreme poverty. Prophet TV Joshua wants to assure you, sir, that he is going to help you to find a job. Secondly, he said that he is here today to give you the sum of 500,000 Naira. And for our sister here from Indonesia who has stated publicly that she's requesting help from the man of God Prophet TB Joshua to return to Indonesia with her children. The man of God Prophet TB Joshua said the ministry here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations and Emmanuel TV Partners are going to take up your traveling back to Indonesia. With your two children, the ministry will take care of getting all of your travel documents, getting your passport, every document you need, your flight tickets to the sum of 7,000 US dollars for you and your two children. Aside from all of the costs that it will take to transport you back to Indonesia, Prophet TV Joshua and Emmanuel TV Partners are additionally giving you the sum of $3,000 so that you can start a new life afresh in Indonesia with your children and your two children will be given scholarships to their various educational levels back in Indonesia. So once again, brethren, this is the message from our Father and the Lord, Prophet TB Joshua, for himself and Emmanuel TV partners worldwide who have heard this case. As we said, as Christians, we cannot afford to look the other way when we see our neighbors in trouble. Our sister came in tears to the Synagogue Church of All Nations on the streets with her little children. And today, to the glory of God, the mission of Emmanuel TV, you can see it in the lives of this family, changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. TB Joshua's philanthropic deeds have also reached the shores of the Holy Land of Israel. This is TB Joshua and Zaka chairman Rabbi Yehuda Meshi Zahav as he honors him with an award for his humanitarian work.
I'm Robert Slairdon, pastor from America and the author of the God Journal series. I hope you'll spend a part of your day every day listening to the great messages and the great spirit that comes from this network. It will change your life. My name is Bill Sabrisky, and I'm from New Zealand, a small country, uh, 1,200 miles from Australia. This is Kayleen, my wife, a woman of God. The Holy Spirit kept saying always, this is a man of God, support him. And I thank God for Prophet Joshua. This is Evangelist C.S. Up the Grove, and my biggest advice to you is to keep watching Emmanuel TV. God will bless you for that. Amen. Uh, you know, I knew William Branham. I knew Jack Coe. I knew Oral Roberts. I knew these men. I go all the way back to the Voice of Healing days. And, and I knew all of the signs, the wonders. I've been in their services, and I've rejoiced. I've been with Catherine Kuhlman. I've seen so many. But listen, everything that I'm seeing in the ministry right now of, of Prophet Joshua supersedes anything that I have seen under those ministries. It, it's a greater measure, and it's exactly what Brother Allen said would happen. God used this stamp in the hands of A.A. A. Allen. So, Bishop, it is my pleasure to present to you this stamp. This is the signature stamp of A.A. A. Allen, given to see us up the grove by the late God's general and handed over to another God's general, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Emmanuel TV, bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world.